All right, ready to talk about file name globbing. You just got to like the term just right off the bat. We're going to glob. Globbing. Now, um, the biggest thing with globbing is the difference between it and regular expressions. Well, globbing is going to work specifically for file names. Regular expressions you can use for a lot of stuff, and they're a lot more complicated. But globbing is grouping together files. The example that I gave the other day is, let's say you got hired in to a company, and uh, they had run for years without a computer person, and they had one directory with a thousand um, contracts in it. You know, they just kept incrementing the number or, or whatever. How would you get them together and then put them into directories to say, okay, like 1981, 82, 83, 84, and make some kind of tree out of it so they could manage them? Well, this is, is what you'd, you'd do. So right now, I've created a directory full of animals. The dogs are purple because they're, they're JPEGs. The, the bash shell thought that was special, so they turned them purple. So let's start off with boom, 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 ls star, or splat. Um, the splat resolves to any file name. Okay. Oh, I needed to t create some more touch dot. Um, the skunk. One, two, three. I will hide three skunks. Dot z z z. Ls splat. But if I say ls dash a, that's when I get my. Where are my skunks? They're not there. Where did my skunks go? Let's look at my command again. LS, there's that, and LS dash A. There's my skunks. Why didn't it show it to? Yeah, there we go. And this, actually, Sometimes I goof and I can get some good out of it. The asterisk resolves to any name except for the ones that start with a dot. So I, I did say ls-a, which is usually how you say, show me the hidden files too. But when I threw that splat in there, it said, show me all these, resolve to all of them that don't start with a, with a dot. So when I left off the, the asterisk, the, the splat, there are my skunks. So OK. Maybe I've not lost my mind after all. We'll keep traveling on here. So there we go. So if I just say ls star, it doesn't show me the skunks. Long and short of that, the star doesn't resolve to hidden files. And again, a hidden file is any file that starts with a dot. All right, let's move on. If I say ls star dot jpeg, this is a lot like DOS, then I get my dogs. If I say ls um, ll star, I get my llamas. How about if I say ls c star? What's that going to return? I heard chickens and clams, but why did it not return clams? Yeah, case. Remember, Unix is always going to be really, really, really case sensitive. So, there's that set, and there's that set. So what if you wanted all of them that were either the big C or the little C? Got something new for you. You can put it in brackets like that. So anything in these square braces, it says, for this first character, pick anything out of the list. There we go. That gave me my chickens and my clams. Okay, let's see. I'm going to try this. Could you do little c, big C, in the asterisk, and then little c in the asterisk? Yeah, I've effectively given it two different commands at once. Yeah, I made it. Yeah, this is the, uh, the two command way, and this is the one command way. What if in the brackets I used a different letter? Um, let's see, ls, um, how about a small c or a d um, star? I got chickens and dogs. 
Yeah. Yeah, anything in the uh the brackets, it's just going to count for one letter. Okay. How about if I did star dot um txt? Why did it not return the dogs? They don't end in dot txt. The dogs are all jpegs. Um I'm going to to create some more. Touch. What's another animal that starts with a B? Bear. A bear. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Five bears with a dot back extension. There we go. So now I, what I was going to do is say, um, I want to make more. Give me a third animal that starts with a, a B. Touch B E A V E R beavers, beavers one two three four. Um, dot E X E, they are executable beavers. And this is kind of funny too. I mean, this is off the subject, but the um, the uh, the shell itself is coloring these, just because it's a dot E X E. You know, there none of these files have any thing in them. They're all with a size of zero, so it's just the, the thing that's giving it the colors. Anyway, there's what we're working with. LS B star. What's that going to give me? My bears, my birds, and my beavers. Okay. How about if I said B, um, let's use my braces, a B or a D. That'll get all of that plus the dogs. Anything that started with a B or a D. We kind of got a handle on this now. But now, how about if we say anything that starts with a B, B, E star. That gives me my bears and beavers. Um, how about this? Anything that has a single character. Here's you something new. The question mark means single character. It has a single character. The second letter is an E, and then anything. Ha ha. I have done exactly what I had <laughs> done right before. I have bears and beavers. Um, here's a good one. LS, any character at the first. Second character is an L, and then anything. I get clams and llamas. Because the second character in is a small case L. Let's get fancy. Er. Um, just kind of read it from left to right. List. A first character can be anything. The second character is either an L or an I. And then anything. So right now I'm thinking of getting clams and llamas and birds. Okay. I am going to try for LS. The first two characters can be anything. The third character is an I. Didn't return anything. What I was shooting for was these chickens. Why did that not work? Didn't have an asterisk on the end. Let's shoot at that again. There's my chickens. Um, this will actually work again. LS, two characters, an A, and then anything. I get beavers and clams. And llamas. And bears. Oh my. Okay. So, that's pretty cool. So, so far, um, let me, um, I'm going to stop it for just a second. Okay. File name globbing. We said the asterisk matched match anything except hidden files, which a hidden file would be defined as something that started with a dot. The question mark match any any single character a b c. Matt 
H any in the brackets for a single character. Um, really, the only wild card is is that. I'm really not sure what would all be counted as a wild card. We're going to hit this in just a second. I'm just going to go ahead and type it in. A, B, C. Match all except what is in the brackets. They got the negation operator in there. So that's enough to get us started. Let's go play some more. Um, Globbing, yeah, refers to just globbing file names all at one time just so that you can grab them in, in one handful. LS, you can start with a, let me take a look at my, my target field here again. LS, you can start with a C, wrong thing, a C or a B. The second field can be an H, that'll get chickens, or an I. So that gets birds and chickens. How about this? I'm going to say touch B H a bahingo. The rarely seen bahingo um, dot um, bird dot um, yeah there there's my bahingo bird yeah and I'm just going to issue the same thing it got those so the first character being a C and the second being an H got chicken the first being a B and the second being an I gave me birds and obviously I threw this together to to catch a combination other than what we really expected the B and the H work together so any combination of these first two and that works. All right, let's look at our negation operator. Let's do ls everything that doesn't start with a b, not b, not b or d, star. So that threw out my dogs and my birds and my bahingo birds that I am treating as if they were real. So that's your negation operator. If you took it out of the brackets, did it still work? Give me everything that doesn't start with a B. No. Got to have your brackets in there. Give me everything that has a character and doesn't have an E in the second character's place. That should have killed off my my bears and beavers, and it did. Okay. Um, let's look at some failures. Surely I can do that. Um, LS, anything that starts and then has an IR in it, and then that. That got birds. I was wondering if two splats would actually work. Anything that starts with a a B and then some characters and then a dot and some more characters. Yeah, it's still. Yeah. What we got? Asterisk. I. I. That'll get you. Didn't like that. It didn't like the the characters between the I and the R for birds. Didn't have another asterisk at the end. That's right. So it did like my birds and my bahingo birds. So that's a triple asterisk. Okay. So that should give you an idea. Let's go ahead and take this just a next step further since since we've we've been silly with it. I'm gonna make directory um how can I group this 
mammals. Now let's do it this make directory big make directory medium make directory large. You know some people would say big and large were the same thing. Small. Big, medium, and small. How's that? At least you get a lot of humor out of me. Bears are all big, but beavers are not. So let's move um, the quickest way, bear star, into big. There we go. Um, clams and chickens are both small. I could say move, starts with a little C or a big C. Um, star into small. And I hope I didn't get anything else. Chickens and clams, yep. Move um, dogs. Now you can use tab completion too. Dogs star into medium. Move LL star into big. Let's see where we are with it. Beavers move star dot exe into small beavers. Move The birds and the bahingo birds are both small, so how can I group those? You know what? Um, well, if I say B, it's going to catch big, too. If I say B star into small, is it going to catch my big? Because it's not just file names it's going to resolve to, it's going to resolve to directories, too. So let's see that. And I threw my cursor in the wrong place. What do you know? Big just disappeared. This command right here found big started with a B, so it threw it underneath small. Let's go fetch it. CD small. Sure enough, there's my big. And I'm going to move it back out by saying move big dot dot. Will that work? It actually will. I'm moving a directory called big what does dot dot represent? My parent directory. Period means this directory and dot dot means the parent directory. There we go. Got my small, my medium, and my big. Alright. Any questions?